Hello, welcome to my video. I am Inrai, working on the project Electricity Tape Detection. I am going to introduce you about our project. It's, complete. it's an every component is used and it's sample operation. Next step, I'm going to introduce equivalence of this component to the real power, real time system. This one bulb 200 watt and this one bulb 200 watt, total of 400 watt X as a load that is tapped through our distribution port. This is equivalence, this is equivalence to our sending in pool where one current sensor senses the value of current and gives proportional output then here is another receiving in another pool equivalence to receiving in pool then and there are equivalence of conductors one phase conductors this represents two conductors in the distribution line one phase and another neutral two current sensors senses the value of current through the pair one phase and the output is given to the analog to digital converter the transmission of output from the current sensors may be either through the wireless transmission or wired transmission that is under investigation in overall i want to say that these two current sensors give the input to analog to digital converter which is differentially connected to analog to digital converter that means one current sensor gives one output value and another current sensor give another output value when there is the difference between the values supplied by two current sensors then this analog to digital converter gives digital value to the microcontroller which is under investigation that its location is not fixed at either it may be at the pole or it may be at the substation and the data is transmitted through the transmitter or either wired communication system then on the basis of the digital equivalent value given by the analog to digital converter this microcontroller processes and gives the output at the substation depending on the condition of values obtained through the analog to digital converter this one is simple block prepared by us for the power supply here are voltage divider using two resistors these two terminals across these two terminals this one and this one this one across these two terminals 5 volt 5 volt outputs can be obtained on the other hand this one this one terminal the midpoint and this or this midpoint and this can give us 2.5 volt output this capacitor is per noise reduction in the microcontroller and there are various capacitors used per noise level reduction in our circuit diagram now simple principle is that we have to obtain information when there is the theft in our distribution system at the substation by glowing this bulb and when there is the normal load used through the distribution system this doesn't give any information about that this can the variation in uh, normal load doesn't affect the indication of theft at our substation so there is the indication of theft only in the condition that there is the tapping of electricity through our distribution system which indicates by the glowing of this bar. Now, I steal my I steal the electricity by tapping by switching on this bulb. Then that indicate that is indicated at our substation by the by the glowing this bulb and buzzer connected to our circuit board. In this way, we can detect the theft and obtain the information. Now, 
I'm going to switch off these bulbs. Now here is not indication of tip. And one one point to be noted is that this this uh, due to the fault in our due to the some defect or uh, not ideal operation of our analog to digital converter board and current sensor. Um, this can detect only the power theft uh, greater than or equal to 300 watt. So when there is the glow in there is the use of um, two bulbs by tapping by installing the electricity that that means 400 watt tap it indicated the substation but that is using only one bulb by tapping the distribution system this the, there is some defect that do not indicates the tap of the electricity at our substation this is our limitation let us see what happens when the normal load is switched on by using this switch no indication of tape at the substation now next one the, um, by at the equivalence to the load variation i am going to switch on another bulb no indication of the tape at the substation because this is normal authorized load without tapping on the distribution system so not indication of the tape now i am going to switch off these bulbs no indication of the tape at the distribution system so in this way we can detect or obtain the information at the service station through the buzzer or light only when there is a tape in the distribution system now this indicates the tape this indicates the tape Now I'm going to switch off these bulbs. I switch off one bulb, next bulb also. No tap in the distribution system, so we couldn't we, we, we have not gained any information about the tap because there is no tap. In this way, we can detect the tap in the distribution system. So nice for watching guys. If you want some more help about this project and more information about this project, you can leave the question or inquiry in the comment section or contact me at my address inrai509 at the red gmail.com. Thank you.